Hey collective, how y'all feeling? I hope you all are doing amazing, having a beautiful weekend. Hope you all are enjoying your Sunday. Sending y'all lots and lots and lots of love. Let's get into your tea message. All right, again, this won't be titled the early tea today either. This will be titled today's tea because it's not so early anymore, right? Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. Your girl be getting her rest and she be working out. I be having shit to do. And usually I record the day before for the next day, but I haven't been doing that recently. So, yeah, this isn't an early tea. It's just a today's tea. But welcome back if you guys are returning and welcome if you are new and tapping in for the first time. I'm happy to have each and every one of you here with me. You guys mean a lot to me. Thank you so much for tapping in, tuning in, watching, listening, and supporting your girl. Thank you for all the subscribes, the likes, the comments, the shares, the donations. I greatly appreciate it all. Yes, I do. Yes, yes, I do. Um, I love y'all. Love y'all lots, okay? Y'all fuck with me. I fuck with y'all. You love me. I love you back. Sending you guys a lot of uplifting, positive, healing energy. All right. May you enjoy your Sunday. May you feel at peace. May you feel relaxed, inspired, motivated. All right. Blessed, grateful, right? All of those great things. All right. Let's see what messages Spirit has for y'all today. Father God, Holy Spirit, angels and ancestors, all that protect and guide me. I'm calling out to you during this time. I ask that you give me a clear and accurate message. I'm asking that you give me clear and accurate messages for my divine collective, please. And thank you. Allow me to see clear messages for my divine collective, Holy Spirit, please. And thank you. Also, I want to thank you for covering me, shielding me, protecting me as I channel this energy. Thank you so much, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father God. I wouldn't be able to do it without you. What is it the collective needs to know today? What messages do you have for the divine collective today, Holy Spirit? Allow me to see things clearly, please, and thank you. Can I get three more shuffles for my collective today? What is it that they need to know? What's going on, collective? What's going on, collective? <laughs> Ooh, what's up, y'all? I'm being silly. <laughs> Your girl being silly. All right, collective. Let's see what's in the energy for today. This is a general reading, meaning everything that you hear may not be for you. Take what's only for you and leave. Take only what's for you and leave the rest for somebody else out there, okay? Don't force it if it's not your message. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Apply the genders as you see fit. Apply the roles as you see fit. The roles are interchangeable. All right, first card out. We got the Ten of Cups. Ooh, the Ten of Cups. I love it. Happy home. I'm hearing happy life, happy wife, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> but happy home, Ten of Cups energy. Okay, happy home. Ace of Wands. Okay, someone is really happy and peaceful. Uh, some of you could even be like starting a family. Congratulations to those of you that have decided to expand your families. May your family be blessed. I'm wishing you and your family all the best for those of you that resonate with that. Um, somebody here pissed off about that though. <laughs> Shit, somebody mad. Could be a Sagittarius. I don't know why this person mad, y'all. But there's a Sagittarius that could be bad about you. Uh, some of y'all having families or being happy or having a new home or being comfortable in your home. That's like really pissing somebody off. Somebody here could be a Sag. Don't have to be. Um, but somebody here is just imbalanced. Okay. Somebody is really unhappy to hear that. They're upset. You know, somebody's frustrated. They're upset about that. Um, the reason why they're upset is because they've been trying to cause conflict for you. Okay. Which would make sense. <laughs> somebody want to cause conflict for you and you over here making babies and shit. You know, of course they mad. <laughs> but somebody, <laughs> somebody here mad y'all. All right. No, we ain't going to laugh at them. You know, we're going to pray for them. But with the temperance and the reverse here and the five of wands, somebody mad. You know, they could be fighting demons and shit. They want you to be fighting demons as well. Um, could be a queen of cups in the reverse as well. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy, strong water. 
Uh, but somebody here is not willing to to let up. <laughs> they like no cause conflict, cause conflict. <laughs> it's like okay, then we keep causing the conflict till your heart gives out. Okay, do it until your heart give out, child. <laughs> do it till your heart give out, baby. Okay, I encourage the dedication. I encourage the drive, the ambition. I encourage the persistence. <laughs> Somebody here angry as hell. <coughs> Somebody here could be working with multiple people here. Okay. Somebody here could be gossiping, working together with multiple people. Strong cancer, strong Sagittarius energy. Okay. I'm hearing these hoes miserable. <laughs> Whoever, these are giving me, uh, this is giving me feminine energy. But again, like I said, we all have masculine and feminine energy. So apply to those as you see fit. But this is giving me women, y'all. I ain't even going to hold you. I, I'm feeling women, okay? And if it's men, they real bitch made, period. Okay, they some, they some, they some bands, okay? Y'all know what the bands mean. Real ones know what bands mean, okay? If it's a man, they fucking bands. But it's really giving me that these are women, okay? Could be men involved as well. Yeah, it is a man involved. A king of wands in the reverse. Could be a fire sign involved. Could also be an Aquarius involved. Um, there's definitely a dark high priestess as well, practitioner involved, and it could be a Virgo involved as well. I mean, there's a lot of people that want to see you unhappy and they unhappy, you know, they not realizing that the energy that you put out is what you get back. <laughs> Somebody here to get the memo. That's a universal law. What you put out come back to you, star. <laughs> what you put out comes back to you, star. Never underestimate those who you scar, cause come a come a come a come back to you hard. Um, a wise woman named Lauren Hill once said that. Um, it was a really dope record. It was called Lost Ones. <laughs> Never underestimate those who you scar, cause karma, karma, karma come back to you hard. <laughs> oh man. Don't you understand, man, universal law? What you throw out comes back to you, star. <laughs> Speaking of star, these people are fallen stars, fallen angels. They are not stars. Collective, you are the only star here, I'm sure. Um, these are karmic, distorted uh, energies here. These people are pathetic. They sad. They miserable. You know, they ain't got nothing else better to do with their time, child. And they just, you know, you know how that saying go, misery love company. Um, and that's exactly what's going on here. These people miserable and they want some company. They want you to be miserable too. God damn it. All right. <laughs> Somebody ain't can't believe this shit that you ain't miserable. It's like, what the fuck? This bitch happy? Yeah. Collective happy. Fuck you know this was. You don't run no shit. <laughs> like you don't run shit. You don't run somebody's emotions. Yeah. I can't make it up. The, st the sun card. Collective. You happy as hell. Some of y'all dancing, deep cleaning your homes, working out, cooking, you know, chatting on the phone with your boo thing, FaceTiming your friends, keep can, planning vacations and shit, changing up your wardrobe, you know, putting out some more winter clothes, maybe. I, it's a whole bunch of shit that y'all doing that y'all happy about. Some of y'all, like I said, y'all making babies and shit, y'all expanding your family. Somebody here could be finding out that they're pregnant. Congratulations. For some of you, if you find out that you're pregnant, I mean, somebody here piss because somebody here was actually working on your womb that's another message i'm getting for somebody here too somebody here was doing like womb magic or whatever the fuck you want to call it whatever these demonic diabolical parasitic narcissistic motherfuckers do um but um somebody here could have been working on your womb and shit this is like a bitch that can't have kids so for some of you maybe she can't hold them so she keep having miscarriages and shit for others of you, maybe her kids got taken away from her. I mean, it's it, it's a number of things that could have happened with this woman here. Um, or, you know, it could be something that she just a hater, period. <coughs> she just a hater for some of y'all. <coughs> Confirmation. <coughs> Confirmation. Hold on, let me get some water. <laughs> Confirmation. She could just be a fucking hater, like I said. <laughs> she could just be a fucking hater, like I said. <laughs> But she could have been working on your womb and shit. She mad because she can't hold her children. She keep having miscarriages and shit. Um, or um, that sounds insensitive, right? But now nah, we don't feel sorry for hoes like this. Um, she could be mad too because maybe she did get pregnant. But the person that she got pregnant by, it was an accident. Like they wasn't even really together for real. He don't really want her. 
So she probably don't even want the baby because he don't want her either. <laughs> like, it's a whole bunch of shit going on here with this woman, okay? It's a number of things. It's going to be different for each and every one of y'all. Y'all know what kind of situation y'all dealing with. Um, because I'm seeing here, too, that this woman could have got pregnant by a king of wands in the reverse. So she could have got pregnant by a masculine that just kind of was having fun out here doing his thing. And, you know, shit, he, he fucked up. You know what I'm saying? They both fucked up. They take two, right? Like, he fucked up, she fucked up. Boom, baby here. Maybe she miscarried the baby because something here about, for some of you, this woman can't actually hold her children so she had miscarriages. For others of you, maybe she decided to terminate the pregnancy. And then for others of you, she could have been really trying to get pregnant, but she just can't. Um, but either way, it's like you're happy and some of y'all could actually even be finding out that y'all are pregnant. Y'all are even, y'all are either um, planning to uh, grow your family, to build your family, extend your family, right? Expand your family. And um, for others of you, you could actually be like seeing that you are actually pregnant. <laughs> and this heifer over here is like, what? Child, she kicking and screaming. She shouting and pouting, hooting and hollering. <laughs> She fucking biz, yo. Shorty tight. Nah, now she mad, bro. She mad. <laughs> she could be mad, too, because this person don't love her. I told you, if she got pregnant by this man, this man don't... This man don't fuck with this girl. <laughs> we got the King of Cups in the reverse. Not only is he showing up as the King of Wands reverse, he's showing up as the King of Cups in the reverse here, too. Okay? He said, we don't love these hoes, and he really don't be loving these hoes. You know how some people be walking around bros over hoes. We don't love these hoes, but they really do be in love with these hoes. They be going broke over these hoes and shit. No, this person really don't be loving these hoes. He do not love this one, okay? If he be loving some of these hoes, he damn sure don't love this one. And she mad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because this is her karma. I'm also hearing for some of you, this is a masculine from your past that this is happening to. This woman could have felt like she won something or she was on some sort of high horse because she could have felt like she took this masculine from you. But little did she realize, this is karma, baby. This man don't even want you. You about to get the heartbreak of a fucking lifetime. <laughs> like, God removed this masculine out of the collective's way because the collective is pure. The collective don't deserve the kind of karma this masculine has to dish out. But you on the other end, sweetheart. Oh, you deserve every bit of it. That's why God aligned you two perfectly. You ain't take shit. God put y'all two together so that y'all can suffer. So that you can learn a fucking lesson. <laughs> Shorty learning a hard lesson right now, man. Man, she learning a hard lesson. And what's even more of a, like, a slap in her fucking face is that this person actually wants to come back towards you and give you an offer collective. Would you look at this shit? Okay, we got the Six of Pentacles here and the Ace of Cups. This person actually wants to come towards you and give you some sort of offer. Now, when I tell you that's a slap in the face, this bitch feel like somebody here has hawked spit in her face. <laughs> she feel like this man has hawked spit in her face. I promise you, that's how she feel. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but I'm laughing because this is what hoes get. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel sorry for hoes like this. I don't. <laughs> These are the type of bitches that be running around like, I take your man. <laughs> like, okay. And that's why you end up in situations like this. Because <laughs> you, cause you walking around uh, fucking gloating about taking people, man. <laughs> Sleeping with people, man. Like, that's, a, that's like an honor. Okay. That just shows the lack of respect that you have for yourself, sweetheart. That's nothing to be proud of that you can take someone's man. <laughs> And if you could take him here, dog, he ain't worth having. Trust and believe that. This ain't nothing but karma, like I said. Will of Fortune in reverse. Somebody's big fucking mad. I can't make it up. Four swords in the reverse and a Will of Fortune reverse. Shorty's seeing fucking red. She's seeing stars. She never thought that this would be like this. See, her and this, I can't make it up. Soon as I cut the deck, y'all, y'all think I'm bullshitting. Man, where that shit at? Three of swords was there, man. I just cut the deck real quick. And the three of swords was there. It's going to come back out. Shorty heartbroken. There go the empress in the reverse right there too. She a distorted feminine. You feel me? Like I told you, she's karmic. Four of wands in the reverse. Her fairy tale ending did not play out the way that she thought it would. She thought this man, her and this man was about to have a baby. They was about to have a family. 
Um, she was looking at this man like he had money. So she was looking at him like a meal ticket as well, which is another reason why she probably was like, gotta get pregnant, gotta get pregnant. But the Empress in the Reverse too is also like a bad mother figure as well. So if this woman already has children, she's a terrible mother. And then, like I said, for those of you um, that resonate with the part where this woman can't even have children or she can't hold them, she can't keep them, um, she miscarries all the time. That's also, you know, the Empress in the Reverse. This woman may have fertility issues. And like I said, what's so crazy is she could have been doing spell work behind the scenes or, you know, getting other people to do spell work on you behind the scenes to attack your womb and shit. But you got babies with no problem. Some of you already got healthy kids. And then others of you, you about to be starting your family for the first time. And it ain't going to be no problems. I'm hearing that your pregnancy is about to be smooth fucking sailing. And not only is it going to be smooth sailing, you're going to be so beautiful pregnant. You know how some women, like, they actually become more beautiful when they're... I feel like all... Uh, I feel like pregnancy is such a, a blessing. Um, it's, so, it's something so sacred. I think all women um, that are pregnant are beautiful. But y'all know what I mean. Like, some women it's like they just have this magical glow um it's like they glow from the inside out right like you guys seen those kind of women that just glow from the inside out when they're pregnant that pregnancy glow they just look so much like just more radiant and it's like otherworldly like they're, they're they was already beautiful before but their beauty is like on another scale like a you know another level that's how y'all gonna be collective y'all gonna be so beautiful pregnant so happy glowing just glistening just skin fucking doing its thing like the baby's actually going to nourish your skin in such a way where i mean even if you have really good skin now your skin is gonna look like even better even if some of y'all didn't think that was possible because your skin is on a thou <laughs> trust me i know girl shout out to all the divine feminines with the good skin but uh yeah this heifer here this fake empress this distorted feminine this karmic whore okay she's a karmic whore let's just call her what she is she's a karmic whore okay we're not gonna spare our feelings we don't spare feelings here okay um <laughs> but with the four ones in reverse she mad because this man leave her okay he done left okay <sighs> this motherfucker done got the hell out of dodge okay he done packed his fucking bags Especially, you know what? I ain't even gonna go there and say that because that's really gonna hurt somebody's feelings. <coughs> Not even gonna go there, Lord. Y'all, my spirit guides be telling me everything, but some things I just feel like that hurt. Like that shit even hurt my feelings, and this ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> I ain't saying that, y'all. But yeah, yeah, see? Tower in the reverse. There go that three of swords. I knew the three of swords was gonna come back out. Y'all think I'm bullshitting? Tower in the reverse and the three of swords. This woman's world is turned upside down. You hear me? Tower in the reverse <coughs> and the three of swords. I'm telling you, this woman's world is flipped upside fucking down. This is not the fairy tale ending that she had been trying to manifest and envisioning in her head. She is like fuming. She's furious. And what I'm hearing for some of you, this woman paid big fucking bucks to make sure that she could get this man wrapped around her finger. See, because she knew he liked third parties. She knew that he kind of ran the streets with some of them. This man runs the streets. And if others of you, he just like kind of mixy or he just like a womanizer. He like a lot of women. He like a variety, whatever. She thought that she could change him. And for some of for some of y'all, this woman thought she could change him by the use of like some sort of uh, root work, some spell work. And she heartbroken because not only was she not able to change him, this nigga don't want her. <laughs> like he don't want you, ma'am. He don't want the baby. <laughs> like he don't want shit. He feel like you're a false person. He see you for your true colors, and he feels like you're codependent. He feels like you're codependent. He feels like you're a liar. And he ready to go back towards the collective. This man says, shit, he want kids. He want a family, but he want them with you, collective. Yeah, this man trying to come towards you, Knight of Cups. But some of y'all don't want this man, you know? Some of y'all may not want this man, Justice in the Reverse, all right? But this man is definitely building the strength and courage to come towards you. Again, this is a past person. They are missing you, okay? Some of y'all dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a Virgo, an Aquarius, okay? But this man say he miss you, okay? He miss you. And all of that spell work, I told you, I can't make it up. That shit ain't even affecting him. If it was affecting him at some point, it ain't affecting him no more. And that's why she's so disappointed. Because if it did have some sort of effect on him at one point, it don't have the effect that it used to anymore. 
Look at this shit. Look what came out together, y'all. The magician in the reverse and the devil. Di demonic, diabolical, fucking nasty work here. Nasty energy work. I'm telling you. Trying to bind them and shit. <laughs> she was ready to have a demon baby with this motherfucker. Because that's what she got in her. That's her DNA. <laughs> fucking soulless whore. She's soulless. Poor baby. Um, But anyways, this man watching you. He like, there go the real empress right there. <laughs> This man want to build with you collective too Cause okay He feel like he got to come in and protect you And shit like that But um I just feel like It's a lot working against him But he don't care And then I also feel like for y'all You got like a false emperor That's on your ass So the same way this empress in the reverse Did all of this shit Trying to take somebody man have a baby and have this fairy tale life that came crashing down and shit as the fuck it should <laughs> ah bitch um there's like a distorted masculine here that is um definitely on your tail as well collective and this could be like a karmic partner of yours from the past but this is definitely like a fake ass emperor whether they a karmic partner or an ex from your past or not this is somebody that's not a real emperor. The same way this hoe ain't a real empress, this man is not a real emperor either. And this person is two-faced and this person is watching you. It's almost like the whoever this emperor in the reverse is, it's like they're battling your real emperor in spirit. All right. So I don't even feel like these men are like kind of like going toe-to-toe -to -toe in the 3D, honestly. But I feel like whoever this false emperor is... This is somebody here that is like battling your real emperor <laughs> behind the scenes and spirit. Somebody here can have an Aquarius moon, okay? I'm getting Aquarius moon here with this uh, Seven of Swords energy. So somebody here could definitely have an Aquarius moon. I'm getting strong Aries, Libra energy here, Leo, and Cancer. All right. And Aquarius here again. Yeah, this person, Matt, is hell, King of Swords, Reverse. They could be an air sign. They could be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, yeah, strong Gemini sun here. This person is really trying to fight with your, uh, real divine, uh, emperor, your real divine counterpart in spirit. Yeah, somebody here could be a Taurus too. I'm getting Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, okay, Aquarius moon. But whoever this person is, they don't stand a chance to your real emperor. The same way this hoe over here couldn't hold a, a torch to you, you can't compete with, you can't compare hoe. The same thing goes for this fake ass emperor. These people wanted to cloak themselves in divine energy. This false masculine wanted to cloak himself in your real emperor energy. And this empress in the reverse wanted to cloak herself in your energy collective because you the real empress. And it was all due to some sort of spiritual inheritance. You know when you are a true divine being, you have a spiritual inheritance as well. And when you guys come together, y'all build uh, legacies, empires, generational wealth. Like the opportunities are infinite. The possibilities are endless. Um, because y'all just wealthy, y'all royalty, y'all abundant. These karmics wanted to have abundant lifestyles. So it's like they wanted to swap destinies with y'all, which is something that God was never going to allow. <laughs> Even if you and this person decide to go elsewhere, that's cool too. But these people wasn't going to be able to swap destinies with y'all. Y'all still getting y'all rightful inheritance. <laughs> so get the fuck out of here, okay? You can't copy somebody's spirit, all right? You cannot copy somebody's spirit, all right? Collective, you getting good news, recognition, praise, rewards, six of wands. <laughs> Motherfuckers is tight. Yeah, this half of showing up as the queen of pentacles in reverse. She's tight. Somebody here could be a Capricorn, okay? Or have strong Capricorn in their chart. But shorty tight. Oh, she tight. Yeah, somebody here could be a Sagittarius as well. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and a Queen of Wands in the reverse. Somebody here is big fucking mad. Okay, somebody here feel like death knocking on their door. For some reason, somebody here feel like they karma could be death. So somebody here could have been doing some sort of death spells as well. Trying to take you out so that they could do an even swap of spirits and destinies. <laughs> What type of bullshit? What type of bullshit illusion these people are done? These motherfuckers gotta be crazy. Okay, crazy and deranged. Yeah, somebody is fucking crazy. Somebody here definitely could have some sort of mental issues here or something like that. <clears throat> With this seven of cups and moon energy. This person living in a fucking fantasy world. This person want everybody to be crazy just like them. You know, and I don't give a fuck how anybody feels how this message is coming out. Because, you know, I know it's like, damn, like crazy, like, damn, you know, like... Ooh, your choice of words. No, I said it the way I want to say it. 
Um, and if you don't like my delivery, this, this ain't the channel for you, baby. All right. Uh, but yeah, this motherfucker want everybody to be crazy and deranged, just like him. Just like Martin said, crazy and deranged. Yeah, this person's unhinged. Somebody here could have a drinking problem. Somebody here could have drug, um, drug and substance abuse issues. Uh, definitely making themselves more susceptible to entity attachments. Uh, we all know, especially alcohol, like you make yourself so susceptible to entity attachments in that way. So, um, yeah, <laughs> so this person is just like secretly fucking going through the blues. They're pissed off. They're mad. They're tight. Um, and, you know, they just shit. This person is trying to take themselves out at this point or that's how it's going to go. And that, my friends, is sad. You know, like I wouldn't wish that on nobody. Um, but this person may actually get to the point where they actually want to just, uh, put themselves out of their own misery. Um, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some of you have an Aries waiting on you, uh, for sure here with this three of wands, emperor energy. That's double Aries. Um, some of you got a Leo waiting on you. Okay. Yeah. More Aries energy. Yeah. Some of y'all definitely got an Aries waiting on y'all. This person hope you don't reject them. There's also a king of pentacles that wants to give you, a, <coughs> give you an offer. This person could be excuse me a virgo taurus or capricorn this person is also hoping that you don't reject them so you get multiple offers here and i feel like everybody nervous about rejection because for some reason you showing up as someone that's extremely unbothered and uh you don't really want to be bothered these people feel like you don't really want a man like you don't really want any attention like that's how they viewing you so it's like they heavily burdened and weighed down but they still gonna try their luck um somebody here could also have somebody that was trying to keep them away from you but that person is going to jail and so they finally about to take action to come towards you that's for somebody child it's a lot going on here but y'all get in where y'all fit in this is pretty much the overall energy for today y'all okay get in where you fit in but um i'm gonna talk to y'all soon i hope this message has reached it, uh the right ears i'm sure it has that's how spirit works um, but again, thank you guys for tapping in, tuning in, listening. Uh, thank you for all the support you've been showing me in the channel. And I hope you guys continue to enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I will talk to y'all soon. Peace.